Hi, everyone. Good morning. It's very hot here, and I'm so happy to do my first interview with Pamela Gomez. And uh, it's probably the same weather because she's from Bahama, Nassau, Bahama, and she's an aromatherapist. <clears throat> Sorry, we're doing the first broadcast today, so maybe we're going to have a little problem of a technical problem, but don't worry about that. We we'll try to do our best. And let me introduce you the wonderful Pamela Gomez. Hello, Pamela. Hello, Danielle. How are you? I'm fine. This is our sign, guest. Uh, we, we see that each time we do an art shape because we're working with the frequency of the art so and the essential oil, of course. But um, I find the Pamela uh, through the, the the group of the Gilbert, and uh, we kept in touch since that time. I think uh, we have a good connection with the essential oil. I, you know, we'll see what it does. So what I want to do with Pamela, I offer that, and every week you can show, um, you can see us uh, in Saturday, probably around nine o'clock, talking about one oil because Pamela wrote a wonderful book. I'm gonna show you the title of the book. It's, uh, let me put it on. You see, technical problem. Oh, do I have, oh, she's got it on. Cool. It's hide and show, hide and then show. Okay, it's available on Amazon and we, we just go on the, on the, I'm going to show you the, yeah, cool. Do we see it? Amazon, oh, that's yes. the link. There it is. It's beautiful. It is. Oh, <laughs> you took it away <laughs> so quickly. Okay. So what, what is, a, what is a, a special about your book? Let me, let me, you know, let me hear it. Let, well, let, 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 let's talk about it. Story. Um, you became aromatherapist because you're not the, you, you were not always in that field and no. want to know what happened to you and how do you discover aromatherapy because it's not too many people in NASA who's doing aromatherapy and you're one of the first one yes well what happened was my mom was not well and she was looking for natural health solutions so I started doing research and um, well, she passed away in 1994, but I came across a pioneer, Robert Tisserand, and I connected with him on LinkedIn and we had a chat and he suggested that I make connection with his uh, manager and um, get set up in aromatherapy. I can buy my oils, I can promote the oils and learn about the oils at the same time. He recommended that I connect with Andrea Boutiche, who is an aromatherapist in Florida. And she suggested that I join her class, which was a, at the time it was weekend, but I went to um, speak with her and I told her that weekends was not convenient and I'd like to do an online class. And she says, oh, you're perfect timing. Um, we're starting our online class soon and you can sign up. And I did, and I graduated in 19, sorry, in 2016 or 17 with my aromatherapy certification after studying and working with family, trying recipes. And um, one of the oils that I wrote about, well, I wrote about my 10 top the top 10, the ones that I use most frequently here in the Bahamas. And there's basil, bergamot, um, eucalyptus, lavender. Um, oh my gosh, what else is there? Orange, sweet orange. There's peppermint, rosemary. And um, I'm not sure I called all 10, but you know, those were 10 I wrote about in the book. In addition to writing about the oils, I told persons how, for, for beginners, how they can use the oils. Um, I gave a couple recipes and I also showed them diffusers and types of diffusers. And I gave testimonials of persons, clients I'd been working with throughout the years. 
so the book is is a nutshell of what's been happening for me and my introduction to aromatherapy so i have a question for you why did you pick those 10 oil because this, i wrote a book myself and it's very hard to pick the best one and the one you like because we love them all so i, why do. I know we do so why yeah. did you pick those one it's uh I chose those because those were the most frequently used and the ones I saw results from. So I wanted persons to hear about my experience. I wanted them to hear about my client's experience. So there's a point in the book I actually share client's experiences. Okay, we're gonna talk about that a little bit later. So don't give all your secrets. So that's why I, what I wanna do is every week, we're gonna talk about one oil and we're gonna describe your experience. And I'm gonna describe my experience because, you know, we find the oil. I think the, the oil, I was talking to one of my students uh, this week and he said, well, oil find me, they talk to me. And I said, yeah, you're perfectly right because they are, the nature is talking to you. To human now and they, they, they show us how to work with them and it's always good to have uh, another side of the essential oil so we can talk about uh, different oil so are you specialized in a uh, physical aspect a beauty aspect emotional aspect what is your specialty what do you like the most physical aspect to yes. see the actual change on the individual, to see them um, actually experience relief and find a solution to their problems. That do you? Uh, I think your mother was sick. I don't know if you talk, you talk about that a little bit earlier. But I think yes. it starts with your mother, and you really uh, let, let let me hear about your the story of your mother. My mom was diagnosed with stomach cancer back in 1993. And her decision was not to do chemotherapy or radiation because she was a nurse. So she wanted to find natural solutions. So she changed her diet. She changed, um, well, basically a total shift in her lifestyle. And one of the things we did was we in changing her diet, we went plant-based, fruits, vegetables, um, soups, broths, and the like. And um, it made her feel a lot better. She wanted to somewhat show that using natural methods will work just as well as going the chemotherapy and radiation route. Um, I, however, found out about the essential oils after the fact. And some of the essential oils that I used and practice with is frankincense, um, the, for pain management, the basil, the bergamot, mm -hmm. and so on. But mm -hmm. unfortunately, I didn't have that opportunity to um, fully experience, um, give my mother the essential oil mm -hmm. therapy. But for relaxation purposes, we did the relaxation therapy with her. So she was always comfortable while she was convalescing, you know? Yeah, yeah that's what I find about essential oil is they stabilize the pain, they stabilize, they, they, they give a balance to the body. And, and if you use it with other medicine, like natural medicine and good food, you have a major res result. So that's probably what instinctly she did and that puts you in your true path at the same yes. time. I and think that, it that did. Is wonderful. I think it did because prior to that, I was going down the IT path, the information technology path. And that's why I still love dabbling in um, mm -hmm. information technology and social media and all that stuff. And that's why Tech Talk Live was created so that I would also have the best of both worlds. Um, and it's been, you're very good with that. And a lot of people with working with aromatherapy or, or whatever essential or natural medicine, they're not 
um, too uh, able to uh, do the technical part, let's say doing video this way, uh, putting all the information on, they put it on Facebook, but is that other way? Having an ebook, having a book, because just writing a book is a big experience and you must learn a lot about writing. When you write your book, you must learn about a lot about your plant. And with the experience of your mother, you have uh, something major. So I'm very, very curious to start knowing about one of the first plants you, you wrote in your book was the, the basil, I think. Yes, basil was one of the first plants. And I should tell you a bit about how yeah. this book came about. It's basically me posting on social media on my Instagram page. I started to do little blocks on my Insta Instagram page about the essential oil. And I created this block about basil and then just highlighted what basil was good for. And insect bites, um, insect repellent, also muscle ache and rheumatism. But I took this to another level about a year before the book was written, I took a fall and I hurt my knee. No. And yes, I got a torn meniscus when, in when my you, knee. When you were writing your book? No, before. Okay, just before. Is this I like the year before, the January okay. before. The book was done in September of 2017. So the year before I took a tumble while exercising and I tore my meniscus. It was very painful. So I went to my aromatherapy books and I did a blend created with basil, bergamot, and a couple others. I won't share the full recipe right now. But what happened was I found better relief using the essential oils than with the traditional medicines. I found the traditional medicines made me drowsy. Um, yeah. I couldn't function. I couldn't drive. I was home in bed for days. And the pain came back every time I woke up. But with the basil blend, rubbing it every day, um, I, I found that I slept better. I could, my mobility came back. Um, the, the swelling was gone. Mm -hmm. it, it really worked on the swelling. Oh, wow. And I was... I was so impressed. As a matter of fact, they were talking about surgery and maybe it's something that um, that is the norm. They prescribe surgery to repair meniscus, but I've had such great results with the essential oil. I haven't had that surgery. Yeah. Right. So the pain is, is little to null and null. Um, I'm basically uh, still using it. I've also shared that blend with other persons who had similar injuries or muscle aches and pain. So how did That's you use it? it? Pardon? Uh, how did you use it when you make you, you create your mix? Tell us a little bit about it. Because a lot of people have pain, you know that. And that's uh, one of the main thing in the world, the pain. Yes. Pain management is one of the top things, yes. And people are not aware of these natural solutions. So how it's done is I make a blend of four essential oils with the top so the oil. recipe at the end. That's good. We're gonna, I'm going to put it on the, on the link. So just uh, keep that in mind. So go ahead. Okay. So there's about four essential oils and a base oil. And I also use something just to give it a, a pleasant scent because a lot of the muscle rubs that we find around, they, they're heavy and you, you go into a room, the, the yeah. muscle rubs that you get over the counter, if that's you put it. that on and go in public, you can smell it. It that's smells it. awful, you know. Yeah, yeah you smell, smell like uh, uh, you're sick. <laughs> yes. You know, that's what I think. You, you have to smell good. It's, aromat it's aromatology. So you have to. It's like a perfume exactly. that's healing you. Exactly. So that's what happens. I use the essential oils at morning and at night when I go to bed. And sometimes if I'm off on the weekends or even if I'm going to work and I'm wearing um, old stockings. I would rub it on my knee and go out and I'm fine all day. Mm. That worked so well that when I wrote the book, 
I had to think what are some of the best oils I used and basil was a no-brainer. I had to write about that. Not mm -hmm. because it's the first letter, one of the first letters in the alphabet, but basil also is good for clearing congestion in the head and chest. It's beneficial for colds and flus, coughs, sinus problems, and other respiratory conditions. It's also known to relieve tension and anxiety and nervous conditions. It works well with lower back and leg pains, and there's my reason for using it because it's so good for pain management. And the effects of this essential oil, it's warming to the touch. So anytime I get a pain or a little inflammation or a little swelling, I would mm. make the blend or use a blend made with basil. Mm. And I always find that it works. It works wonderfully. I have an experience with basil, I'm going to tell you, because it was not a, not, not one of my favorite, but it, it, I find it smells like spaghetti sauce when you wear it. <laughs> so, <laughs> or you smell like pesto spaghetti. So, you know, I like it, but I'm, um, so that first time I met the basil, because that's why I, I, I really, they talked to me. They did say, well, use me, use me, use me, but that's the way I work. I was invited my old family uh, for a supper, a New Year supper, and it was the first time I had everybody. So I want everything to be perfect. So I started having major, major cramp in my lower uh, intestine. Cramp like it was something was like that and was not moving. There was distress. And usually the stress go, for me go to my stomach and never go to my intestine. So I was doing my stuff and I start uh, having this voice inside me saying, use basil, use basil, use basil. And I said, okay, I'm going to use basil. So I put basil with, I have olive oil because I was cooking and I put some in my spaghetti because I can, you can use it and you can eat it. And I put that in my lower part of the, my belly. And I went to the liquor store to buy some wine because I, I don't know. <laughs> And the stop by uh, home from the liquor store, it was like 15 minute drive. Nothing uh, was going on in my, like everything was fine. I was like, so in the cloud nine, uh, nothing, I, no, I had no worry in the world. I, I had no pain anymore. And I just, the, the common, I was so funny because I went to the cash to the lady and the lady say, well, it's funny. It smells like spaghetti sauce right, just right now. <laughs> And I just say, well, that's me. I have pain in my um, belly, so I put basil on my belly, and then she really look at me like I was a rare uh, girl. And I, I, I find it's amazing for children who have cramp in their uh, intestine uh, with orange, and you would just mix that in a, in a basic uh, oil, and and that's wonderful. The cramp are going away, and there's a lot of a, a kid. Who, have, uh, who are nervous and swing because you know the the intestine are the second brain so if you have uh, attention most of the time it's going to that part so this uh, it's you know you have to, and how you find the smell of the basic the basil it smells very sweet green you know but you as you alluded to basil is a popular herb and it's used in the Mediterranean and Indian um, communities as part of their spice. It's sweet, it's refreshing, and it's uplifting. But um, I must also say that when I made my blend of basil, I added other oils that took over the aroma. So instead of it smelling like the kitchen, I yeah, use a little good. peppermint and a that's just a little secret. So the peppermint and a couple other little drops of other oils gave it another aroma. So it wasn't it. it wasn't overpowered by the basil. Yeah, I always do that too. But it's it's good to mix for people who are doing a muscle a massage therapy. Yes, uh, to put it in a, uh, for the customer, and it's, it's beautiful smell. And, uh, Bergamot and basil is amazing. Lime and you know citrus, and you can put a flower with that, and you make it beautiful and smelly. And that's we like it. 
Danielle, I have yes. to say good morning to Gilbert and Eric who are watching and send them some love. <laughs> we bring that. Thank you guys. They are yes. watching us. Yes. So, so so we 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 gonna um, uh, I'm gonna let you go because we are we are have a, a busy morning. But how can you? There's just one more thing I'd like to share. It it in the book I yeah. talk about the therapeutic effects of basil. So mm -hmm. if persons want to know more about basil and the therapeutic effects, they can find that in the book. But I just want to share that it's an anti-inflammatory, so it works on yeah. swelling. It's antifungal. It's an antioxidant. It's antiviral. It's also an anti-spasmodic. And it's a mm -hmm. calmative. You know, it calms you down. So mm -hmm. if anybody want to get in on this series, and we will be covering the book, Oh, the yeah, 10 yeah. top essential oils in the book. Mm -hmm. um, they can find it. It's now available at Logos Bookstore in Nassau, Bahamas, and yeah. it's also available at Amazon. And I think you just put um, the, t the link there the, where the they can title. find it. This is the t title and on Amazon, but we're going to put it on Facebook. Uh, every week we're going to put uh, uh, oil. And just before we leave, Give me a simple recipe so people can uh, uh, write it down and create their own, uh, you know, let's say, and uh, blitz, let's put it in a blitz in a love way, uh, not to be stressed. Uh, because in uh, right now in Canada, in Quebec, this is a major big celebration, uh, is the Canada, Canada Day. So uh, a lot of people are in vac vacation, but, you know, it's a good time to start uh, really, really feeling uh, balanced and not stressed. So you just put basil and with some some other I stuff. Like, so a recipe. I liked, and I just used this yesterday because I had hit my hand and I got a little swelling. So I used about three drops of basil, okay. a drop of peppermint, and I put a drop of bergamot with a coconut oil base. So repeat that, three, three drop of... This is just a little bit. Three drops of basil, about basil. one drop of peppermint to give it that smell. Um, and I use bergamot, about yeah. two drops of bergamot. Mm -hmm. Put it in a coconut oil base. Okay. And you can substitute coconut or olive oil or jojoba oil. I, I love, I love, I love uh, um, a coconut uh, liquid, the one that's a, a fragrant. Yes. yes, I have the organic coconut oil. Yeah. And um, I just blend it together and I use it on the spot. So if mm -hmm. you have inflammation mm -hmm. or a bruise and you want to um, treat that, I did that on, I just rubbed it. Now there's a bigger recipe I use for the, the problem I had with the knee, but that you would have to, um, it's in the book. It's in the book, <laughs> by the book. So it's very easy, you go on Amazon, you click in and that's it. You, you have it in the ebook version also, or just yes, in the- There is an ebook version. And so you can download the book. Yes. Yeah. Okay, cool. So we're gonna meet each other for the, uh, are we saying the next one for next week? Are we saying, are we surprise people or what do you wanna do? Let's let's surprise people and, uh, you know, let's surprise people. They, they can right. come and check it. So we're gonna do a broadcast every, every week with uh, Pamela. We're gonna have uh, our recipe. We're gonna share recipe. If we're gonna get really good on the technology. I'm talking about me because she's very good. So we're gonna be able to have uh, people chatting with us, and uh, that's what I want. Hmm? If anyone is interested in learning how to live stream, they can follow me on Facebook on my tech page, which is Tech mm -hmm. Talk Multimedia. I'll place yeah. that also. Tech Talk. Uh, tech chat it up. Gonna... All one word. Tech, tech Talk. Talk all one word, 
Uh, multimedia. Media. Me. M e d i a. Okay. I'm gonna put it down. You know, it's a. Uh, and I train people how to use uh, technology. Yeah, and, and you also have to understand. You see, now I cannot. I, I cannot put, I don't want to cut it down, but I will uh, try to take talk media. Uh, I put it on the Facebook thread in the comments so everyone can see it there as mm -hmm. well. Yes. Okay. So thanks a lot. You're uh, welcome. Yes, uh, you're welcome. Love to everyone. Yeah, love everyone. Love aromatherapy, aromatology. And I'm Danielle Yua from I'm the founder of the Academy Daniel Yuar, which I have wonderful class also live. Uh, I mean, um, uh, how you call that in English? Um, uh, a school online. So it's yeah. very, uh, I'm, I'm specializing in beauty and uh, emotional aspect, and I'm teaching a whole bunch of beauty stuff. So anyway, uh, we're going to have fun. very good. Class. She's not saying that, but she's very good. <laughs> I'm trying, but my school is getting bigger and bigger. And uh, my dream is to have that all over the world. And having Pam with me, I'm going to create a whole bunch of things. And uh, let's keep it on. Having fun. Good weekend of Le Canada Day. C'est la bonne fête du Canada à tous. Alors, uh, à bientôt. Okay. Yeah, it stopped. Yeah, and live broadcast.